Hello and welcome to the fourth Solfem V3 tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to use the uh, meshing software Gmesh. It's an open source mesher which you can uh, download uh, type GMSH into the uh, Google search and it will be the first 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 search result here you can uh, download it it works on windows linux and uh, mac i know for windows um you uh, when i start up gmesh in windows um it's uh, an executable when I uh, download um, and install, uh, I mean, if you are going to install on Windows or Mac, just follow the instructions on the website. And um, for Ubuntu, I just wrote sudo apt install gmesh. And uh, I, I have already installed the program. So now I will start it up by just typing gmesh in the terminal window and here we go we uh, we can begin by uh, going here on geometry elementary entities and add and we're going to start by adding uh, points so here we will uh, let's start with uh, zero 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 add so it just added one uh, one point here and uh, this is a bit annoying the cursor it changes these values so uh, I like to move this away from the screen because I like to type in the values uh, manually so next let's put one at uh, x 180 and y0 Let's also put one at 180 and 20. The next one at 200 and 20. Then we can try 160 and 20. 160 and 40 also 180 and 40 we want 180 and 80 and 280 and we also forgot at uh, 0 and 20 there so those are all the points I want uh, now you can click uh, Q on the keyboard or you can just go to oh yeah let's do that now uh, we will add some lines so just click two uh, points and uh, it will make a line between those points so we'll start here and we want the line here I want also a line between these two between these two these two and these two and next we will use this one circle arc and start by selecting the start point then the center point and the end point and same here start point center point end point and that's it um, there are uh, there are more 
more uh, function there's more functionality here if you want to do something more um, elaborate but uh, we're just showing how uh, how it works here so now we will uh, click this plane surface uh, option here and select the uh, the lines that create the area we want to create here and press the E button on uh, the keyboard. There we go. We now have a surface. So let's hide the, this geometry uh, options here and open this mesh. And let's go in here on the menu tools options. Now here we want the mesh options we want the general tab here and let's use element size 3 between 3 and 4 and down here you can uh, switch between uh, first order uh, or second order elements so this this will be um, triangular elements so first order that's three node triangular elements and second order are six node triangular elements so let's just use uh, six uh, node triangular elements second order elements and close that now first you click on the 1D button that will um, mesh the lines you see here done meshing and then click the 2D button and that uh, meshed the surface there and that's it it's uh, we have the mesh and now we will export it. So, file menu, go down here to export to download here to the um, the folder where we uh, have our um, Solve MV3 program. Let's call this tutorial 4.bdf. So, .bdf this is a bulk data file so it's a must run uh, format you also select a file type down here mesh uh, must run bulk data file dot pdf so tutorial 4 dot pdf and file type must run bulk data file then save and then uh, you get this option BDF options and you you need to select free field here the other ones uh, do not have um, comma separating uh, separating uh, coordinates and node numbers uh, in um, in the text file so free field that's what we that's what we want I'm not sure what the uh, element tag here uh, what what's the difference I just always choose physical entity it, it works so yeah free field that's the important one and physical entity okay that should do it now we can open a new terminal window and navigate to the solfmv3 work directory start up the script python uh, program.py and select the viewer here we go now we have the mesh uh, we saved it as tutorial 4.bdf and we can click here in the file menu click import and select tutorial4.bdf 
and uh, we have I, I just click the uh, C button on the keyboard to center the view we have the mesh here it has been imported if you click the shaded button you can see uh, element surfaces and um, when you're looking directly at uh, the XY plane the uh, element surfaces tend to uh, hide the uh, edges so if you just rotate the camera a little bit you, you will see but uh, we can just work here with wireframe also if you zoom in a little bit we can uh, click the nodes button and here you see all the individual nodes so yep now we uh, we have our mesh let's create node set number one here the create node set button node set number one okay and up here I want node set number two and when we import a mesh it uh, automatically cre creates uh, element set number 999 and uh, element set number 999 is basically all of the elements so we can just uh, use this element set actually because uh, we are going to uh, apply section properties um, or properties to our elements so click the create section button choose uh, aluminum uh, Newton millimeters and kilograms and now we have to um, write in the uh, thickness of of our uh, mesh so we, let's say 5 okay and we will apply this section that we just made to uh, the element set 999 which is uh, all of the elements and uh, if you noticed here it changed from uh, not applied to applied so now we know all of the sec all of the elements in uh, in the mesh have uh, section properties and uh, we are ready to create our solution click the static button we can uh, call it solution 1 we will put a zero displacement uh, on the first node set in all degrees of freedom uh, we could just write one two here because there are only two degrees of freedom on the nodes uh, in this mesh so but uh, if you just left it uh, left it uh, as it was that also I it works and uh, let's click the uh, current solution button and have a look here we can see uh, the boundary conditions are visualized also let's put a uh, uniform load on uh, node set number two uniform load that means that um, the load is spread out of over evenly all on all nodes uh, 200 yeah let's uh, let's use 200 and we want it in the uh, positive x direction there okay and uh, that's that's it that's all we need we can uh, write solve file so we can generate the solution file and um, we want solution one in our solution file and uh, we want stress and displacement okay 
running solution file sol file one dot sol. Okay, it's uh, ready, and we can now use this button to uh, select it uh, to run the solution file in the solver. So we just created sol file one dot sol. Open and it runs. Um, yeah, it, and uh, the solver is finished. We can open the uh, out file. Have a look. We have new results available for solution one, displacement, and stress. So let's look at the displacements. And they look pretty much uh, as we would expect. There zero displacement here on the left end, and uh, the force we applied in the x direction is stretching uh, stretching our p uh, mesh here. Yeah, that that uh, looks reasonable. can uh, have a look at uh, the uh, element stresses and here we can see that perhaps we need some uh, mesh refinement uh, maybe maybe not if you click the um, average stress drain button here it will smooth out it will uh, average the stresses between uh, between uh, the elements so at uh, one node um, ah. <laughs> uh, let's change the scale factor here so we can see the nodes we are selecting this this uh, node here for example it's calculating the uh, meshes no the um, the stresses uh, one two three four five times at this node if for each of the elements so the average stress strain uh, gives you the average value here and when you do that uh, it smoothens out uh, the um, the stress plot uh, commercial um, software does this as well but uh, they do it um, probably a little differently they don't uh, just take the average and um, and we can also have a quick look at the results file. Uh, in here you can see uh, ah, there's not much information. Uh, maximum displacement, maximum von Mises stress. We didn't ask for any uh, any any more text. Uh, format results but um, here we can see the reaction forces at uh, the boundary conditions and this corresponds nicely with uh, the 200 newtons we applied so yeah I think that does it for uh, this tutorial I hope you found it uh, useful and um, Thank you for watching. Have fun.